For the past 100 years, automobiles have been the solution of choice for American personal travel. But congestion and traffic delays have started to decrease American ground mobility in many areas of the country. Likewise, commercial air has long satisfied long-distance personal travel. However, for shorter trips, their average speeds are barely faster than using a car. Can the future hold much faster personal mobility choices while meeting the same standards of cost, comfort, safety, and environmental impact? With the value of time doubling over the last 30 years for Americans, and the number of miles traveled also doubling, there is a greater need and ability to afford faster personal travel options. NASA Langley Research Center is investigating new vehicles that could enable dramatic improvements in personal time savings, as well as becoming highly useful as future military aircraft. While the NASA Small Aircraft Transportation System develops the necessary airspace technologies to permit a Highway in the Skies air traffic control system, the Personal Air Vehicle Project is investigating the missions, concepts, and technologies that could enable concepts to have radically improved utility and accessibility. Conventional, short takeoff, vertical takeoff, and even dual mode or rotable concepts are being analyzed and compared to alternate travel modes so that a clear benefits assessment can establish the foundation for personal air travel. So take a look 20 years into the future at some of these personal air vehicle concepts. Though over 10,000 landing facilities are available for air travelers, significant aircraft improvements in today's small aircraft are required before general aviation gains wide acceptance. Today, general aviation offers one basic aircraft for the same cost of a family of luxury cars. The tail fan is a nearer-term concept that aggressively pursues the design objective of affordability within the constraints of acceptable noise, safety, emissions, and comfort. Dramatic cost reduction is possible through the use of an automotive derivative reciprocating engine, synergistic system design, modern automotive-based manufacturing, and quality assurance-based certification procedures. This conceptual design is driven by manufacturing decisions for lower cost, such as symmetric tooling for an all-aluminum wing, tail, and fuselage system. One key technology is an advanced quiet ducted fan. This ducted fan permits a modern V8 engine with emissions and exhaust systems that produces less noise than current motorcycle regulations, an order of magnitude less than current propeller aircraft. Automotive-like comfort and visibility can be achieved in conventional designs to make these vehicles as desirable as the cars of the future. Vertical takeoff concepts have long been sought as a point-to-point -point solution without the requirement of a long landing strip. However, limited payload fractions, large propulsion system weight and complexity, hover control, transition handling, noise, and downwash velocities have severely limited their use. While helicopters have become accepted in society for rescue and emergency medical service, their low speed and high cost have limited more general use. While hundreds of VTOL concepts have been attempted over the past 50 years, one of the simplest solutions conceived was the Grumman Tilt Nacelle. This concept eliminated the need for a reaction control system for hover control and was able to show robust transition without buffet through tilting the nacelles forward for cruise and downward for approach. New technologies make this concept much more feasible by eliminating additional VTOL penalties. The multi-gas generator tip driven fan system is one key technology that significantly reduces the engine out propulsion sizing and eliminates the need for cross shafting the engines together. Also, the use of circulation control nacelles permits a nacelle optimized for cruise performance to perform well at hover conditions and expand the fan flow in hover to reduce the downwash velocities at the ground. With these synergistic technologies, VTOL aircraft could be considerably less complex and expensive, permitting fast point-to-point -point operation as air taxis or government services vehicles.
a concept long perceived as the ultimate in point-to-point -point mobility is the dual mode or rotable vehicle. The objective with these designs is to combine the capability of the automobile and the aircraft together into a single vehicle. While many attempts have been made over the past 50 years to achieve this goal, it has always been accompanied with dramatic penalties so that an air car was considerably worse than a car or an aircraft. But considerable time savings could be achieved over single-mode concepts if these penalties could be minimized through advanced technologies. Through the use of high-thrust-to-weight turbofan engines, coupled to a turbine alternator and integral electric hub motors, a very compact, lightweight, dual-mode propulsion system is possible. This permits a combination of single-element, telescoping panels and folding outer panels to accommodate the extremely limited span constraint of a dual-mode vehicle. Many significant hurdles exist for this type of concept to become practical. Due to the combination of full Department of Transportation, safety and impact requirements, accompanied by full Federal Aviation Administration certification procedures compliance, in combination with insurance, maintenance, safety and cost issues, this is a concept that will require significant investments to become a reality. While a dual-mode vehicle capable of highway travel would be able to go everywhere, is that the type of capability really required or the best approach for door-to-door -door travel? Limited dual-mode vehicles that could only travel on side streets with limited speeds. One of the simplest ways of accommodating the span limit without articulating surfaces is to limit the payload to one or two passengers in tandem through tightly coupled aerodynamic propulsion and control concepts. In the spiral wing and spiral duct concepts, a ducted propeller provides enhanced lift at low speed for very short takeoff and landing distances. These concepts could permit air vehicles that could operate out of very short runways. If only short distances were required to complete the door-to-door -door mission on roadways, a limited dual-mode concept might be the better choice for achieving the design objective of lower travel time for a fixed cost. In addition to personal transportation missions, these types of concepts could fulfill many future military missions. As a fully autonomous vehicle, this concept could be used as an auto evacuation vehicle for a downed pilot or wounded soldier, or to bring supplies to troops in the field. The key area of investigation for missions and concepts such as these are highly coupled aerodynamic, propulsion, and control concepts that can integrate technologies synergistically. While these individual personal air vehicle concepts may not be the final answer to personal mobility in the future, concepts that use similar technologies may be a part of the answer. Just as with automobiles, there will be many sizes, versions, and capabilities to fit customer needs. Building a foundation on which these technologies can be understood and developed is a critical step for Americans to continue to pioneer this future of mobility so that visions with significant benefits can be achieved, in spite of difficult obstacles. What could personal mobility be like for the next generations of Americans? Will our children someday look back at today as a horse and buggy era that evolved into something much better? We'll only know if we're brave enough to explore the unknown and look to new possibilities for the future. <laughs>